Hey, what's going on folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Today I've got a CV axle here that is an, is an example of a CV axle that has excessive inner CV axle joint play in it which would cause a vibration upon acceleration and in some cases upon deceleration. This particular axle came out of a hybrid vehicle so what I was experiencing was upon acceleration around 30, 40, 45 miles per hour there was this vibration that you could feel in your seat and the steering wheel and it would also vibrate whenever you press the brakes. Now some people don't know but uh, hybrid vehicles whenever you hit the brakes the brakes aren't actually doing the work in some instances or actually most instances um, what's going on is uh, you're, you're having regenerative braking take place and the traction motor or the electric motor actually slows the vehicle down so the brakes aren't pressing against those rotors creating friction to slow the vehicle down the actual motor is so the motor would be attached to the CV axle through the transaxle and it would slow the vehicle down out to the wheels there and if there's any play or excessive play in your inner joint here it can cause a vibration now your vehicle does not have to be a hybrid vehicle for this information to apply however I will say that uh, on your your vehicles that are non-hybrid I've never experienced a vibration upon deceleration caused by an inner CV axle joint it's usually upon acceleration that I have felt uh, a vibration but uh, what goes on is in some cases and this is not all that, that uncommon the inner joint will develop a little bit of not not in and out play like that this is normal but up and down play where you take and you, you pull the uh, the two parts back and forth like that if this were in the inside the transaxle what you would do is just push up and down on this shaft right here and you would test for play but just listen to this There is a whole lot of slop going back and forth right there like that. And that's excessive. Now you're going to get a little bit of play, but you shouldn't have that much play there. I'll do it again for you so you can see. That's excessive. So the joint inside there is worn out, and I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart. Let me disconnect this clamp here on the boot. There we go. We'll just pull this boot back here. You see right away that <laughs> that's not your normal color. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, usually this is nice and uh, greasy and um, not so rusty looking it looks like some moisture has gotten into this and uh, absolutely obliterated the needle bearings inside these uh, tripod balls here anyway th that's the that's the needle bearings wow they're totally shot So what you get is excessive play, like you see right here. That's supposed to be nice and nice and firm, and it's supposed to be wobbling around like that. So that's where the play comes from, and that's where your wobble comes from. So when you got play like that on these uh, this tripod here inside the housing, it, it becomes off center a little bit, especially when torque is applied. Instead of rotating in a nice even pattern at the same angle. It will become cocked just a little bit and it will rotate in almost a uh, not an elliptical pattern but a, an off-center pattern if you will and these things they rotate at a great rate of speed as you know and just a, a millimeter or two off it's going to cause a pretty good vibration that's a lot of a lot of mass to the CV axle here so that's what causes the vibration so uh, yeah guys um, inner CV axles can cause a vibration upon acceleration. That's not the only thing that can cause a vibration upon acceleration. Uh, I did a video uh, about a year ago on uh, diagnosing uh, vibration upon acceleration concern and I'll put a link to that video down in the description there. You're welcome to watch that if you'd like to. 
Um, but yeah, th I just thought this was a great example of a, a inner CV axle wear uh, that, that caused a vibration upon acceleration. I just want to share this with you. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, do give me some time though. Uh, it may take a little bit for me to get to you. Uh, I am having a little bit of a hard time keeping up with all the comments uh, uh, across my channel that is, not just on this particular video here. But uh, I do get several uh, questions a day. Some of them are in depth and uh, take a little bit of processing there. So uh, give us some time. I'll try to get back with you. Please read the entire description of this uh, video before you uh, use any of this knowledge. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys.